Today, I'm gonna show you how you can install the WordPress server in the Ubuntu Linux. Before beginning, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and click on bell icon. If I upload any new video, you will get notified. So without wasting your time, let's go ahead and download the ISO for the Ubuntu server. For today, I'm gonna download the Ubuntu server 22.0.3 LTS, and it might be different while you downloading. Once you click on download, you will be able to download from there. After downloading, you can click on file the new virtual machine and click next I will install the operating system later and click on Linux open to 64 next let's create the folder in dif different location and I will create my folder here and I will create the new I will say WordPress once I click OK click next you can define any size click next if you want to customize your hardware you can customize i'm okay with that click i need to disable this i will install inside this location i have open to 20.4.2 which is my oldest version but it might be different to your case click close after finish you are able to power on this Press the enter button for the English. If you want to use the update, the latest newer installer, you can use it, utilize that, but I'm not gonna do that. I will continue with the updating. Once you select the layout and variation, different types, you can just select from there. Press the enter button one more time. And if you want to customize your IP, so you can define as the manual, and I will type 192.168. 192.0 slash 24 it might be different to your case and once you satisfy with your configuration you can save once you are done hit enter one more time done and this is the very interesting part if you want to define customized storage layout you can select the customize but i'm not going to spend a lot of time there so i will select the by default press the next button and then done and i will say spy cyber and my server name is wordpress once you satisfy with your profile setup hit next i want to install the open ssh i will do select that after that it will beginning to install the operating system in the virtual machine so i will be back after completed once you are done you can literally reboot your computer so reboot now while rebooting i want to show you one more thing here if you want to know more about the installation and configuration wordpress so i will put this link in the description so you can get from there so if you have any questions any regarding to that so always feel free to comment below all right so our wordpress login is spy cyber spy cyber and the password okay so also what you can do is you can do ssh from this particular that machine so 192.168 that's the reason why i installed the open ssh tool on this computer 133 i next up here this is the ip address and this is the ip address so whatever you wants to do you can do from here so now what we have to do here is let's log in and once we log in, let me make it a little bit bigger for you. So 14. So now let's go ahead and sudo apt get update. And once you're done here, what you can do, so you can do sudo su and you are under root so you don't have to do sudo every time and sudo apt install apache 2 and you have to do yes yes and hit enter so it will take a little bit of time depend upon your internet speed once you install that you have to enable apache and you have to check the status of the apache for that let's do systm system 
CTL, which is Control Enable, and Apache 2. All right, so now let's check the Apache status. System Control Status and Apache 2. Oops. Apache 2. So now if you see right here, the Apache is active and running. So hit enter after that. And once you hit enter, you have to do here is literally you can now browse from your browser. So for example, you have to do 192.168.33, hit enter and it works. So Apache is installed by default now what you can do is install mysql apache apt install mysql dash server and hit enter and say yes all right once it's done you can do one more time sudo or you don't have to do mysql underscore secure installation and you have to say here is yes so let's do one yes you have to remove anonymous user and disallow the root login remotely so you can say yes here and remove the test user and test database yes and reload the privilege to the table now you have to do yes here too and it's all done you have to do here is sudo system control control enable my sql so now let's do the status one more time and it is running hit enter and let's do the status for the mysql and it is also running so now it's time to install the php so that should be apt install php lib apache 2 dash mod dash php and php dash mysql so that will install all the packages php PHP with the library and the PHP MySQL. So you have to do a yes. It will take a little bit of time, depend upon your internet and the processor speed. So once it's done here, you can just literally do the another package install PHP C URL and PHP ZD, PHP MB string, PHP XML, PHP XMLR, PC, PHP, all those things. I'll also put in the description, you can also get from there so you have to do yes so these are the package that requires for the wordpress so once it's done you can do php dash v v is version so once you see right here you can see the version of the apache and the php uh, version so now let's restart the apache system ctl restart apache 2 so now let's go to cd for and www.html and let's download the package from the wordpress wget is the webget dash c copy from that location wordpress.org with the latest package and hit enter it will start downloading all the package that requires to install it and it will also do the latest .tar package from the, the wordpress.org now let's unzip that file so tar dash x g v f will be latest tar so now do ls so there will be the wordpress index.html and latest.tar this is the package that we just abstracted so now narrow down to the wordpress.html file for the wordpress so it need to be the specific permission so cs o w n dash r and www dash data the read write permission will be www data the var www html and the wordpress now let's create the database for the wordpress 
so mysql and that's username will be the root and the password is null all right let's create the database with the demo db so demo underscore db will be our database so let's create it and the database has been created successfully and also let's do the same thing for the demo user i will create the demo user obviously all right so create a user demo underscore user at the red local host identify with the demo password so demo password you can just put anything there you can easily define there hit enter so it doesn't like the password so let's create the password one more time test at one two three so let's see it still doesn't like it so let's do demo one two three test so let's copy this so open the notepad here just in case if we forgot so hit enter and the password has been created now let's do the permission for that demo database so grant all the privilege on the demo database whatever to the demo user because this is the demo user which we created and hit enter let's do the plus privilege so that will be cleaner and you can do exit hit enter and now what you can do here is you need to put the permission csmod that's r which will be wide open with the wordpress hit enter and let's do the cd wordpress and we are inside the wordpress right now let's do the back of of the wordpress config first just in case you know move wordpress dash config i will say wp dash config dash php hit enter and now we can do nano and wp dash config.php nano wordpress dash config.php and you can add a few things here so now what you can do is we need to replace the password and the demo database here so whatever we config so we might need to adjust that so remember that was the that was the demo test and that there was the user so which is demo underscore db password database name will be database whatever we config let's paste it here and let's do the demo user underscore user the password which we created so let's copy that password and here and after you are done you can just save it so the installation has been completed so now let's go ahead and do the localhost and the wordpress slash wp dash admin hit enter and now you can see here is the wordpress config so this is the mainly installation so i will go ahead and continue with that so whatever you want to use this is the password which recommended whatever you can create later so remember this is the demo database and this is the password for the demo database and then there is the one demo underscore user so just you don't know that you just have to be very cautious while you are doing or assigning the user and database password so you can just literally change it so it's really up to you you can do demo and the user will be demo too so you can put anything admin at gmail or whatever and you can just install the you have to remember this one so if you forgot that will be another problem so now the installation is now completed and the password will be this whatever we assign it now you are inside the wordpress there are a lot of things you can do that's the exact same similar thing about the installation so you can also install the plugins add plugins here whatever you can assign it it doesn't really matter so also you can assign the user that's how you are able to configure the wordpress in the open view i hope you like this video i will see you in next video please don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel and if you have any questions please comment below i will get back to you as soon as possible and hit the bell icon so you will get notified once i upload a new video thank you for watching